We are seeing airline stocks down broadly in this session today, even as Chief of Staff or White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows tells Politico that President Trump is weighing executive action to avoid layoffs at the airlines. Let's bring in Seville Marcellus for that story. And Seville, it was just yesterday we heard American Airlines say that they're looking to lay off 19,000 jobs, 19,000 people. Now we've got the White House stepping in, and yet that hasn't given a lift to these airline stocks. A day after American Airlines basically told their employees that they're going to lay off or furlough thousands of employees in October unless Congress gives them another round of financial relief, we're seeing President Trump's administration stepping in. So today we had White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows basically say that President Trump is considering executive action to bail out the airline industry. So I reached out to the major airlines to see how they would react to this if President Trump for example, were to sign an executive order the way he did for the payroll tax on August 8th. And here is what they told me. I got a statement from American Airlines saying this, quote, we have been in touch with the administration and we greatly appreciate their concern for our team members and their support for the aviation industry. We will continue to work with the administration and our bipartisan supporters in Congress and hope to come to a resolution in a timely fashion. I also reached out to Delta and United and the key takeaway here is that the airline industry welcomes the financial relief, but they don't want to step on any toes. They don't want to ruffle any feathers. They don't want to pick sides because this is ongoing and they do need the financial help. A quick note here, Akiko, bottom line, this is election season. It's heated. And we know that uh, negotiations for another round of fiscal stimulus are deadlocked. So President Trump here saying that he's considering doing it by himself via executive action. Yeah, and it's worth noting that Mark Meadows in that interview also said the assistance would require potentially legislative action. So still to be continued whether in fact uh, this could be solved with executive action there.